So, uh, all right, our first recipe, I thought we'd do a, a twist on the classic strawberry shortcake, which is one of my all-time favorite desserts to have in the summer. There's just something about strawberry shortcake in summer that goes hand in hand. But I'm not a, a you know, don't do a ton of baking, so making those biscuits can kind of be sometimes a pain, especially when it's hot outside, you don't feel like turning on the oven. So this um, is a wonderful, pretty much no-bake, layered strawberry cheesecake trifle, and it is absolutely delicious. So the first thing we're gonna do is we uh, sliced up about four cups of berries, and then I'm gonna take a few tablespoons, just depends on how sweet your berries are, of sugar, and toss the berries in the sugar and let them sit for about an hour. What that's gonna do is get those juices really flowing. The big word is macerate, and it's just gonna um, you know, start the juices releasing them from the berries. And that's gonna keep this, um, the cake really nice and juicy and wonderful. This is a make-ahead dessert. That's why I love trifles, because I love having lots of company in the summer, um, but I don't wanna be in the kitchen the whole time. So I can throw one of these trifles together in the morning while everybody's just kind of, you know, taking their time getting up. I like to, I'm an early riser, so I like to get up early. Uh, and then I can whip one of these together and after dinner and uh, you know when um, I say hey anybody want dessert and everybody lights up and said dessert yeah dessert and you bring out this trifle and watch everybody ooh and ah and you know I just look like a rock star and who doesn't like to look like a rock star but it's so easy so let those mar uh, marinate for a little bit and just kind of you know, hang out now we're doing two boxes of instant cheesecake flavored pudding so we don't have to hassle with the cream cheese and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to take a shortcut here. And this is a great invention. They're always coming up with new different flavored puddings, and this one is a winner. So two boxes of instant cheesecake pudding. And three cups of cold milk. I'm always coming up with new different trifle recipes, and this is my newest love strawberry shortcake but certainly don't want to be you know hassling with baking a cheesecake in the summer so this is my way of getting all those great flavors but doing it the easy way so i'm whisking together the pudding and the three cups of cold milk and it's really important to have the milk nice and cold and i'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and it'll start to thicken up as we move on to couple of the other steps here. All right, you do your thing, pudding. And I'm gonna get on to um, a graham crackery kind of crumble that's gonna go on top. Um, so I basically took some graham crackers, which we always have, especially in the summer, we have broken graham crackers in the house because we do a lot of s'mores at our cottage. So. If you've got some of those, don't throw them out. Use them to make this dessert. And you can crush them up by hand, but I'm gonna just use a shortcut here and throw them in the food processor and get them nice and crumbly. So we want graham cracker crumbs, which traditionally strawberry cheesecake has a graham cracker crust. So this is kind of the same idea. All right. So we're going to take those graham cracker crumbs. A couple of the old guys were a little stubborn, so. And you'll have to eat these bigger pieces of graham cracker. Yeah, I didn't think you'd have a problem with that. Now we're going to do a little bit of sugar, just a couple tablespoons of sugar, and then some melted butter. And again, that's traditionally how you'd make a graham cracker crust. And this is going to act as a crumble that's going to go on the top. All right, so the cake for this. So in the strawberry shortcake world, you normally would use some sort of a biscuit. So I'm gonna give you two options for this. You can use, uh, basically, you could use angel food cake, but I'm gonna do something a little bit richer, so I'm using a store-bought pound cake. The recipe calls for one of the bigger pound cakes, but sometimes those are hard to find. So we picked up two of these in case we might need two to fill up our trifle bowl, but about a you know, pound cake, 16 ounce cake. And I'm just gonna cut these. And these are so easy to cut into cubes. They just make 
everything super easy. And I can already tell we're going to need about one and a half of these. And I just cut them into little cubes. You don't have to measure, just, you know, one to two inch cubes. These traditionally you'll find them um, in the bakery section. You'll find the fresh ones or um, you'll find them in the freezer department. So they're kind of nice to have on hand um, because basically you can have these in the freezer and then if you, you know, want to whip, so we'll do about one and a half of the smaller loaves. That should be about 16 ounces. And you can nibble on that too, Anne. Good. I'm being extra nice to you today. Okay. So now we're about ready to start assembling this dessert. Once you get it, all the pieces together, it's just really easy. Like I say, you could also use angel food cake. This is a little bit more buttery, richer. But if you want to lighten it up, angel food cake works great. Okay. So now we've got our melted butter. So this is, again, back to our graham crumble that's going to go on the top. Melted butter, crushed graham crackers, and a little bit of sugar. Now, if you have the time and you want to turn on the oven, you can throw this on a cookie sheet and bake it for about five minutes, and then it's going to get a little bit crispy. It's going to taste great no matter what. So it's up to you how you want to do this. We actually have some that we threw in the oven. That's one more step. You don't have to do it. It's going to taste fine like that, too. But this is uh, just, we'll get a little more crumbly. You see what I'm talking about here? All right, and let that cool, and we're going to start making our layers. All right, how is our pudding doing over here? Okay, see how that started to thicken up? Perfect. A couple things I'm going to add. If you, um, you know, homemade cheesecake oftentimes has a little bit of a lemon flavor to it, so I'm just going to do a little bit of fresh lemon zest, and that's going to make this, you know, instant pudding taste a little bit more like real homemade cheesecake filling. And then we're going to keep it nice and light. This is one of those large containers of frozen whipped topping. And I'm going to take about three quarters of it and fold it in to the pudding. And this is going to make this, um, again, more cheesecake-like and very light, fluffy, kind of gets rid of that instant pudding taste. Just, I'm always coming up with like little secrets and, and ways to cheat a little bit. And adding Cool Whip to instant pudding almost gives it like a mousse-like texture and really a nice flavor. You could certainly do fresh whipped cream as well if you want to do that instead of the frozen whipped topping. But that little bit of lemon also just makes a huge difference. Okay, time to start layering. I'm doing this in a, uh, it's a trifle, so I'm doing it in a trifle bowl. You can pick these up very inexpensively all over the place, um, you know, $10 or less. If you don't have one of those, you can do these in little individual desserts and little wine glasses, uh, martini glasses, parfait glasses. You can do this in a clear glass bowl. There's lots of different options on how you can serve this. So first thing I do is I drop my pieces of cake into the bottom of the bowl. And then I'm going to take some of the strawberries that have been hanging out in this sugar. And at home, you'll let them hang out even longer. And we're going to layer some of the strawberries and the juice. See how it kind of makes a, a really nice juice? Layer some of those on the bottom. Now we're going to take some of the cheesecake filling. And the, the main thing to do with trifles is you don't want to mix the layers together. You want to actually be able to see the different layers. So down goes some cake again. More berries. More of the cheesecake filling. And then you can carefully kind of spread it out, but again, we don't want to 
mix it together. And then one, one more layer of cake. I do so many different types of these. And for the holidays, I do one with crushed peppermint candies. Um, I do a strawberry peach trifle, do lots of lemon, different ones with lemon. So they're just fun to diff experiment and do different types of these trifles, and they all look so gorgeous. Okay, so one more layer of our berries with the juice. And then one more layer. Let's get those kind of spread out a little bit of our cheesecake filling. And then at this point, you're going to carefully wrap this with plastic. Wrap the top and get it into the refrigerator. And it's going to hang out there all day. When it comes to trifles, I like to make them morning of. I don't like to do it too far in advance because the fruit tends to break down and the cake breaks down a little bit too much. So that's kind of my rule of thumb uh, for trifles is morning of, the morning that you're going to serve. Okay, so this goes into the refrigerator and it sits all day while you go out to the beach or do whatever you're going to do on, you know, a wonderful summer day. And then right before serving, you're going to take what I call a cloud of this remainder of whipped topping. Put a nice big cloud on the top and just kind of You really want that wow factor. And then I've got those gorgeous, crunchy graham cracker crust crumbles that's going to give a little bit of crunch and, again, resemble the crust that you'd have in a strawberry cheesecake. So we're going to take some of those and just kind of crumble those right over the top. And I like lots of crumbly, so I'm not going to skimp on those. And then I love to garnish also with some fresh berries that we can just kind of decorate the top with to let everybody know that this is a really delicious strawberry cheesecake trifle. There you go. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, I think you're going to get some oohs and ahs, and it's so easy. Anybody can do that. You really can.